All right. I have to tell you. <laughs> I've had, uh, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night because it, it's even hard for me to, to like say these things. Uh, because it's everything I say is going to be completely insufficient. We'll just start there. Just know that every word I'm speaking is not sufficient for what I mean. Um, last night, you know, uh, many of my metaphysical experiences happen just going into or just coming out of sleep. And last night, just I hit that sweet spot right away, just right away. I was in the middle of a prayer, and this prayer had to do with love. As a reminder, every word I'm speaking is insufficient. It had to do with love. It, the, the prayer had to do with sort of immersion into my nature, basically. In living that pure freedom of the truth of my nature. And just being able to, in that immersive state, bring that truth of presence, that truth of being out to other people so that there would be a resonance, so that I could be in service, so that I could fulfill my reason for being here. So I'm just, there wasn't anything wrong that I was trying to, to help or fix or whatever. It just was like a joyful prayer. And it like literally, I, I didn't even finish the prayer. I just sort of went whoop right into this state. And it was just the most mm, delicious, luxurious state of being the purity of love. And I could see within all of life, ooh, this just feels so luxurious as I'm saying it. The presence of love and what love is and what love does. So the only thing that love does is love. In the same way that what fear does is fear, all love does is love. All love is, is love. And in the pervasiveness of love in the world, I was just in all of it. And I could feel within me, or I should say, I was in this experience, all of that flow. And the way that love was moving with absolutely every single nuance of life. the makeup of life. I'm, I'm feeling teary as I say it even. Just being in that exquisite purity of that truth. There was really no way for me to be oriented in any other way because it's what I am. My prayer was about being immersed in my nature and here I am. This is what it feels like. This is what love does. It loves. Because that's its nature. This is my nature. This is our nature. So we're going to go into this because this is where I am. I can't take you anywhere else. <laughs> This path is leading on this direction. So we're good, just gonna go down it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's get really comfortable. And let's be in love together. Oof, let's be in love with each other. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> isn't that lovely? That's sort of an expression of a truth that we already know, isn't it? I'm always in love with all of you. 
We're always in love together. So we're gonna see how love wants to be within all of us this evening. So we'll take just a minute here to feel everything from our day, all the energies that we arrived here with, all the thoughts that came with us. We're just gonna let it all relax. Like, let's just imagine we put it all in a hammock. We're just gonna let everything rest while we're here. You're gonna feel our environment around us softening. Feel all the boundaries of time and space just dissolving. There's no need to narrate the experience, to engage with the experience. There's nothing at all that we need to do. We're just here, relaxing, sinking into this field together, to this familiar space. Let's take a nice, good, slow, deep breath in. And just feel yourself floating into the field. Full welcome. We can feel ourselves invited more deeply, more vastly. A sweet, sweet invitation, just as you are. Come, come, come. We feel ourselves infusing through the intention that we always gather in. The intention to be of service to ourselves, to each other, to all of the collective and to our divine family. Now let's feel that as I say that again. We're infusing into this field through the intention to be of service to ourselves. To be of service to each other. to be of service to all the collective of humanity. And to be of service to our divine family. What else could that service be but love? What else could heal all that seeks to be healed, that seeks the service of healing? Love is that which heals.
So we're just gonna feel in this field tonight. The exquisite presence. Of the love that is here through all of our teachers, through all of consensus, through all of our soul groups, for all of our guardian angels, for all of our loved ones. The love we have for ourselves and for each other. The love we have known in this world through the presence of Christ, the presence of Buddha, the presence of goddesses and teachers and gurus. The love that speaks in this moment to you. The love that presents itself again and again and again through the resources of compassion and care. The love that speaks the language of comfort and strength, of unconditional embrace. Just feeling all of that flow of love. In every subtle vibration, in every port, in every pulse, and everything that courses. in that which moves the sound of this voice through the field, that which moves the sound into you. That which causes the rise and fall of the breath that which gives us the awareness of this moment. That which gives us the awareness of all life. That which is the awareness of all life. as we align to all of this love. At the subtlest level and in the fullness of the enormous scale of all of it. cannot separate ourselves from it. We 
we cannot separate everything from it. There's nothing untouched by the presence of love. This love In this state of awareness, simply of the presence of the being of love, there's no question of worthiness. There's no question of conditions. Love simply is and as love. So let's just hold ourselves here and each other and collective and our divine family in this exquisite embrace when we deeply yearn for our wholeness we deeply yearn for a world at peace we deeply yearn for a heart at peace We seek is love. And here we are in this moment, in the presence as the presence of that which we call out for again and again and again. All the while it is moving within us, moving as us. The state of being and the simple isness of love is the state of being for consensus at all times. The state of divine wisdom at all times, the state of the Christ consciousness at all times, the Buddha nature at all times, that which is at all times.
when the source of all life is fundamentally an awareness that has a cherishing nature, that it is fundamentally divine love, then all life comes back down to the presence of divine love. It is the emanation of love in all form. form that that emanation takes in this moment is this gathering. It's the feel that we each have in the field in this moment. It is our contribution to the collective in this moment. Let us bask in our awareness of the blessing of this moment. Let us feel that radiance
Now an easy way to remind ourselves of this orientation, of this alignment or attunement with this particular vibration, core level, fundamental level vibration, if you will, is to use a simple visualization that's often used in relation to the chakra system. So a central channel going right down the center of the body, right down the spine, you might imagine. From the tip of the head all the way down through to the floor. Aligning with it so acutely, so thoroughly that every breath comes and goes through the central channel. Let's take a nice deep breath in through that. And out through that. Not just top and bottom, but all emanating from this channel. Let's do that again, nice good deep breath in. And feel all of yourself emanating from that channel to this presence of love. So the central orientation is this presence of love. The central orientation to that which in each of us is that which loves us unconditionally. Not a source outside of ourselves, but we ourselves. Let's take a moment to feel that. I am that which loves me unconditionally. I am within this central channel, that which loves others unconditionally. I am from within this central channel that which loves all of the collective of humanity, all of life unconditionally. I am that from which in, within this central channel that loves all of our divine family and is all of our divine family. I am that which in within this central channel that only knows love 
I am the nature of love. I am not the nature of doing to prove my love. I am the nature of being the presence of love. From this vantage point, from this central vantage point, the view is without any filters. The view is clear. The realizations are clear. The view is also of a greater scope because love in its full awareness has the whole picture. Love feels, experiences, understands, and recognizes the context for what it is in the presence of. It is the wisdom in encounter with anything. It is that which speaks in the highest potential for all in any single moment. This is all right here within, accessible. It is what we are. And we have all called ourselves back into this state of awareness in seeking our wholeness, in seeking complete healing through reuniting with all that we are, reuniting with this state of being this unitive consciousness, the love in all things. Let's take another nice, good, deep breath in through the central channel and emanate the brilliance of all this love into this field. Giving great thanks 
for everyone's presence here, everyone's willingness to contribute, to witness, to co-embrace. Let's feel all of this within our field, feel it anchoring into every cell of our being, every speck of our individual and collective field. Feel it grounding us, strengthening us. Take another nice deep breath in. And feel all of that anchoring into your space where you are in this moment. Bringing all of this into your home environment. Into the room that you're in. Into the chair or bed that you're on in this moment. Begin to move your shoulders, your elbows, and your knees around, orienting yourself to this time and place. Put your fingers to your thumb again and again. Roll your shoulders. Look around as you feel comfortable opening your eyes.